That's the sound of students doing their group cheer. Activities were held in the gym all night to keep their minds off food. Over 50 staff and students stayed overnight on Friday from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. fasting for World Vision's 30-hour famine. A teacher expresses the importance of this event. Many children go more than a day without food. And so it is to empathize with the fact that it is not you get up and you get to have something to eat or even that you go a day without something to eat. It is that you have to experience life with being hungry. The event wasn't all about fun and games. It allowed everyone to learn a thing or two about the famine. To live a day in the life of someone else that, does, that aren't as fortunate as we are today. So that's just kind of what we're trying to get across. So um, the kids get sponsored donations and they come here, they fast, they have a great time. And plus they learn something about um, their neighborhood, they learn something about their school community and something about their international community. And what's the first thing everyone will do after it's all over? Eat. <laughs> Obviously we're going to advise them to eat slowly. Uh, uh, their eyes will be bigger than their stomachs at that point. And most of them always say, I'm going to eat here and then I'm going straight to McDonald's. About $3,000 was raised by the school for World Vision. The money will go towards starving families around the world. Stephanie Leung, Observer Radio, Toronto.